Hey, finally, here comes the cutter. This is the most simplest design that I create. Uh, it has two holes in it, seven and nine millimeters. Seven millimeters is for uh, thicker bottles, like uh, Coke bottles. And uh, the most of bottles uh, is I'm making with the nine millimeters. So this is the prepared bottle with the air pressure uh, and heated over the flame on the gas stove or cooking stove. You don't have to do it, but this is the way that you can get more filament and more straight strip, which allows you to uh, make the filament in a more comfortable way. So cut the bottom off. Don't cut off your fingers. And try to make the bottom strike as it is possible. Cut the guide strip, it will help you pull it through the cutter. I'm not using any kind of weight on the top of the bottle, I simply hold it with my hand and uh, with my second hand I'm pulling it. It's, it's it's working 100%. This is about seven and a half meters of strip. And this is what what left what left from the bottle. For the first run, I need to tell you that you need to uh, set a working temperature on your thermal controller. You can do it by press this button, and when it starts blinking, you can adjust uh, the desired temperature with other two buttons. So now save it and it's done. My working temperature is about 70 degrees Celsius. Uh, there is a, there is a, another kind of W1209 thermocontroller which has uh, eight options and uh, one of you tells me that uh, 70 degrees was too much for the, for the use and uh, he found that 40, about 48 degrees is working for him. So you have to try it by your own. I made a website, petamentor.com, uh, with a community forum section. And this is the place where you can uh, bring your troubles, your struggle. And uh, I believe that somebody will be able to help you, or I will help you <laughs> to solve it. And. I hope it helps. <laughs> and you know the rest of the process. Hook it up, roll it up and print. It's 
not the rocket science you don't have to be afraid that you will screw it up uh, it's very easy and it's not about the melting the strip and uh, pulling a uh, full string of PET filament out it's about bending bending the stripe strip and uh, joining it on on both sides sides Damn. <laughs> and that's it uh, you are making you are making a kind of tube uh, this way and you are printing with with the tube so that's why you have to set uh, an another another higher flow rate in your in your slicer settings for me and my nozzle di diameter is working about 145 percent and that's it that's all this is a process without babysitting without using uh, another spool without uh, using a guide before a heat block uh, this is a kind of punk <laughs> but it works I, I see a few weeks ago a guy uh, who is making his filament with the with the hot gun glue gun <laughs> and it's worked too it's not the rocket science it looks like a total destruction but as you can see the quality of filament is not changing too much this is the this is the worst this is the worst you can get and it's still working it's still working but it's better to use a guide before the heat block and uh, and the spool I will make some this is the result of this filament it's uh, without post processing without any extra settings in my slicer settings uh, that's it so if you have uh, any questions so ask me or come to my website and uh, share your problems or questions in forum bye oh the cutter is free <laughs>